<laughs> You're like, it's there. It's in the Good morning, everyone. This is Sharon Bond with University of Denver Parent and Family Engagement. And um, I am here with Dr. Bree Roselle, and um, she's going to present today's um, Ritchie School of Engineering and Computer Science webinar. We're gonna jump right in and get started. We'll have about 15 to 20 minutes of presentation, and then we'll open up the Q&A. So if you'd like to ask a question, just use that Q&A feature over on the right side of your screen on the bottom of the screen. Okay, and we'll get going. Welcome, Dr. Roselle. Thank you, Sharon. So as she mentioned, uh, today we'll be discussing the Ritchie School of Engineering and Computer Science, the different programs that we offer and what you can plan on enrolling in for the fall quarter. Um, as we said, I'll go through the presentation and then I'm happy to answer any questions as we uh, complete that portion and move along. So. Hey, just a quick overview of what you might find at the Ritchie School. So we have three different departments, uh, computer science, electrical and computer engineering, and mechanical and materials engineering. Within computer science, there are three different areas that you can major in. Uh, computer science itself, applied computing, or game development. You'll notice that applied computing and game development both have a BA, um, and then computer science and game development also have a BS option. So I'll talk a little bit about the difference between those options and what that means for your fall courses. Um, in electrical and computer engineering, we have electrical engineering, computer engineering, and then electrical engineering with a mechatronics concentration. Um, all of those are offered as a BS, and then electrical and computer can also be a minor. In mechanical and materials engineering, um, it's a BS in mechanical engineering and a minor with that as well. So when I go through these, I'll start with computer science, discuss what the fall will look like for those students, um, and then move into engineering. Okay, so for computer science, um, just a note that depending, even depending on whichever you're interested in, so whether it's computer science, game development, or that applied computing, your coursework will look very similar. The only difference would be whether you are selecting to do the BS or the BA, and I'll talk about what that difference is. So what I've shown here is the basic fall quarter coursework that you would expect to do if you're interested in computer science. So as all first-time, first-year students, you'd be taking an FSEM. Okay, and then there's two computer science courses. Uh, one is Comp 3075, which is Computer Science Pathways. This is more of an introduction student development type course to teach you about computer science and things within that degree. And then um, Comp 1671, which is the first introduction to computer science course. So those are the two computer science specific. Now you'll notice that I have Math 1951, which is Calculus 1. Um, and I have a note there that says BS only. So if you are for sure doing the BS, you definitely wanna be in Calculus 1. If you are for sure going to do the BA, you don't have to, but if you are undecided, we would suggest you go ahead and sign up for Calculus as that will be required for all of the BS degrees. Um, now, I also have uh, listed either a UCC or language course. Um, so this is optional if you are taking calculus. If you are taking the four courses I already listed, you'll be at 13 quarter hours, um, which is okay for the first quarter. However, you can add an additional course to put yourself at 17 if that's of interest to you. If you are not taking calculus, then you will need to take something else to be a full-time student. And so we suggest something that will count for your core curriculum or a language course. Um, if you are interested in looking at a major along with computer science, I'll talk about your options options for that as well in a second. So uh, again, this is for anybody who's interested in being in the computer science department, what your fall quarter will look like. And what I'll do now is go through some frequently asked questions that we tend to see. Um, and then of course, if you have more questions at the end, I'm happy to answer more specifics. Um, so frequently asked questions, this is of course just for computer science. Uh, what if I already have credit for Comp 1671, which is that intro 
uh, to Computer Science One course or other CS courses. Um, if you already have credit for previous computer science experience, whether this is through an AP course or maybe you're transferring something in from a community college, we suggest that um, you just take the next course in the series. So this could be Intro to Computer Science 2 or 3, depending on the credits awarded. Um, and so the specifics for your case, you would need to double check with the registrar. Um, I know some of you also may not know if you have AP credit yet or not. And so just keep that in mind that if you do end up receiving AP credit, um, you'll have to figure out what courses that covers. And then you would wanna look at the next in the series. Same kind of question, what if I already have credit for Calculus 1? Um, and again, we have some students that may have gotten this through you know, AP credit or something similar. So we would suggest taking Calculus 2, which is the next in the series, or uh, instead you could fill in with that uh, university core curriculum or language class for this fall. Um, if you have math beyond Calculus 2, uh, so if you've taken Calculus 1 and 2, maybe even 3, um, again, we would suggest you just take the next in the series. Um, but it might be specific to you, depending what that looks like. Um, the other side of the coin is, what if I am not ready to take Calculus 1? So we highly encourage all our first year CS students that are interested in the Bachelor of Science to register for Calculus 1 in the fall quarter. If you're not truly prepared, if you really don't feel like you can jump right into Calculus or you don't feel comfortable with it, you can take pre-calc. Just know that that would count as more of an elective credit and you would then have to be taking um, Calculus 1 the next quarter. Uh, we recommend that everybody, if you, especially if you've taken some sort of pre-calc course and feel comfortable enough to go ahead and start in Calculus 1 in the fall. If after the first day or two, you think you'd like to instead go take the pre-calc course, that's okay. Okay, but it's better to start out in calculus and make that decision than to start in pre-calc and realize you should have been in calculus instead. So kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned before, what if you want to explore another major in addition to computer science? So the only courses that we suggest specifically for the fall quarter for computer science is the 1671 and the 3075. The rest of your schedule is flexible. So as we said, you have that one course that can be a core curriculum or a language course that could also be a course for another major. So if you're interested in business and want to take you know, the gateway to business course to get that introduction, you can do that as well. Um, same if you're interested in engineering, you could take our intro to engineering course. Um, but we do highly still encourage that you take the calculus one if you're interested in ABS to make sure you're sticking with that. So um, there's a little bit of flexibility in that first quarter if you're interested in looking at something beyond CS. Uh, and then also, sort of mentioned this before, um, if I'm interested in applied computing or game development, is there anything I need to take fall quarter? Um, no, there's nothing specific that would uh, be required for the fall quarter. As I mentioned, anybody in computer science department, your fall quarter is gonna look very similar to what I posted. Um, we are happy to advise on these areas once you're on campus or if you have specific questions, I'll give you um, a good email to ask those questions to over the summer. Um, but the fall quarter classes are gonna look the same for all degrees in the computer science department. So just focusing on that fall quarter, everything looks the same, regardless of which of those three you are interested in. So now uh, moving on to engineering. Similarly to computer science, if you're interested in any of the three engineering kind of areas, um, you'll all start with the same fall quarter coursework. As I talk about these, I'll then, of course, go and answer some of those frequently asked questions. Some of those will be similar to what we mentioned in CS. So our fall coursework for engineering, um, we are suggesting you're taking general chemistry, which is our Chem 1010, along with the lab that goes with that, which is Chem 1240. Uh, and so there's three quarter hours are the lecture, and then one quarter hour that is the lab. We suggest that, of course, you take Calculus 1, which is math, um, 1951. And then we have our Engineering 1611, which is an introduction to mechanical systems with CAD course. And this is the first of our three-part series of introduction to engineering courses. And then additionally, there's Engineering 1511, which is Engineering Connections, similar to the Computer Science Pathways course. This is um, a course more to let you know about uh, engineering in general, different programs that we offer, help with some student development, and answer a lot of those first year, first time questions that students may have. And then of course the first year seminar that all of those first time, first 
your students are going to be taking. So um, these are all required, unlike uh, computer science, where you have a few options. So you will notice the total credit quarter hours is 17. Um, and we'll talk about uh, some questions that students may have about that. So that is what I will move into now. Uh, okay, so same kind of idea that we asked about CS. What if I'm not ready to take Calculus 1? Um, we highly encourage all first year engineering students to register for Calculus 1 fall quarter. If again, you're truly not prepared, you can take pre-calc. This is an option. The difference between computer science and engineering is that because of engineering's um, courses, they all work very much in sequence. So this may require you taking an extra course somewhere down the road to make up for the fact that you took pre-calc. That's okay, just know that that's the case. Um, and in order to stay on track in engineering, students must be enrolled in Calculus 1 during the winter quarter. This is because during the winter quarter you start to take physics and because engineering requires the calculus-based physics, they have to be co-enrolled um, in these two classes. So it's okay if you're not ready to take Calc 1 and take the pre-calc, but if you think you're at all ready for Calculus 1, we do highly encourage you to register for that starting in the fall quarter. And we can, again, answer more specifics about that if you have it. Uh, of course, again, the other side of the coin, what if I already have credit for Calculus 1? Similar to uh, computer science, we would suggest that you take Calculus 2. Or if you uh, don't want to jump into Calculus 2, would rather take that in the winter, you can take um, an AI or SI Society course, which would count for a university core curriculum course, in place of Calculus 1 for the fall. Um, similarly, some students may have Calculus 2 or Calculus 3 credits and not, uh, like for example, differential equations is not offered in the fall, so taking an AI SI Society would be the best uh, placeholder for that. Um, one thing that we get questions for as far as um, some students have already taken calculus or you know have AP credit for it but would still like to take it at the college level that is fine you can take calculus one again if you would like um, but just know that the credits will not be double counted so if you got transfer credits for calculus one um, and you decide to take calculus one again in the fall again that's fine just know that you know those you won't get double credits for that that'll just be um, and you know, on top of what you already took. Uh, so again, just keep that in mind. Uh, one question that we do receive in engineering, because a lot of times um, 17 quarter hours may seem like a more than a lot of first year students are taking, we do suggest to start with the 17 shown. However, the easiest course to take another date is chemistry. Um, chemistry does not become a prereq until the junior year for a bulk of our engineering majors, so you could take this at a later time. Um, but do keep in mind that this may require taking an extra course at a later date to stay on track. So if you're not taking those four quarter hours of chemistry, those do need to be made up um, over the next four years at some point. Uh, but again, that's the easiest one to take at another date. Our suggestion is though to start with the 17. It's always easy to then decide a week or two into it. If you're overwhelmed, you can drop chemistry. Um, but we do recommend you at least start with those and see how it goes. Uh, and then last question, what if I want to take another course in a different area? You may have noticed with the engineering course list that there's nothing that's necessarily flexible, right, unlike computer science. And so if you would like to take a different course than those listed, chemistry, again, is the easiest to take later. However, in order to stay on track, all others should be taken during the fall quarter. Um, and this is because it's so important for our students to be in that calculus and physics series their first year in order to stay on track with prerequisites for all additional engineering courses. Um, but again, if you have a specific question in those different areas, we'll talk about what you need to do with that. So there we go. So what if I have more specific questions? Um, I have listed contacts for all of the different departments and areas that you may have questions for. So if it's computer science, you can contact Meredith Corley at her email. For electrical engineering, Dr. Bob Whitman. For computer engineering, Dr. Gonzalo Martins. And for mechanical and materials engineering, Dr. Matt Gordon. Um, if you have specific 
questions that are specific for engineering, but maybe not for a specific department, any of those faculty can most likely answer those questions. Um, I suggest that Dr. Gordon teaches some of those first quarter classes and is very familiar with the first quarter schedule. Um, so he's kind of a good go-to for a catch-all as far as engineering goes. If you're advising questions that are outside of specific kind of departmental major questions, of course, you can always email advising at du.edu as well. Okay. I think that is kind of the end of our prepared portion. Um, and so if you have any questions, please go ahead and put those in the Q&A section and I will try to answer all of those um, as I can today. If there's any I don't get to, you can follow up with any of those emails um, or we'll try to reach out as well. So we will now kind of open that up. Okay, so the one question I have so far is should engineering majors take a specific FSEM course? Um, and the answer is no, that is you're welcome to pick anything that fits in your schedule. Um, there are some that maybe are more science and engineering leaning that you know engineers or computer scientists may be interested in, but this is your opportunity to take anything that interests you for that FSEM course. The 1511 class for engineering, someone was asking what the name of that class is. It's Engineering Connections, it's the name of that class. And I can skip back to that slide, hopefully. All right, there it is. Okay, next question. Um, are there any courses needed for computer science that also count for the common curriculum? Um, actually, both Calculus One and Intro to Computer Science count for common curriculum courses, um, so those would help. Is my FSEM course my LLC course if I am in an LLC? Uh, it is not, that would be different um, as far as that goes. I can add a little bit more. So for the um, living learning communities, the courses um, that are required for those are on the new student registration website. Um, if you click on um, the first quarter advising tab and then you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, it will have what courses you're supposed to register for for your specific living learning community or LLC. All right, another question says, on sample curriculum, um, Comp 3075 is not listed for BS Comp Sign majors. If you take this quarter one, is foreign language still required for three quarters? So um, yes, foreign language is still required for three quarters regardless of what you take if you are in computer science. Uh, for engineering, there is no foreign language requirement, and I can talk about specifics of that if people are interested. Um, but the Comp 3075, that's a new course, so that may be why it wasn't on that list. Um, but it is suggested that all first year students interested in Comp Sci do take that one credit course. Any additional questions? We'll give everybody a couple minutes to think. Um, and I can always go back and focus on any of the slides if anybody wanted to see anything again. Yep, I just got asked to return to the courses from computer science, so I will do that. Hopefully. There we go. And this will all be recorded. 
um, and the slides will be available. So if at any point you want to go back and relook at these, you can do that as well. So one thing to keep in mind is that um, during Discoveries Week, when everyone is here and learning about DU, we will have a specific time um, that you all can come to the Ritchie School and learn more about computer science and engineering and things that we offer. Um, we're hoping to have a panel with some of our students so that you can ask them what their experience has been like. And then we're also um, planning on having faculty there. If you have any additional questions about courses, we'll have some of our student groups available to answer questions if you're interested in um, working with any of those as well. So just make sure that you keep all those fun questions um, as well. Okay, uh, another question. Okay, since engineering has very specific course requirements, how likely is it that when registering for fall classes, a class may fill up before my registration time? This is a really good question. Um, so as far as the uh, two engineering specific courses, the Intro to Mechanical Systems with CAD and the Engineering Connections course, those should not have a problem um, being answered. So we are being with being filled. Like we always make sure that there's plenty of room with those. Where you may uh, get some issues is getting into the exact class that you want or the exact lab period that you want. So for example, there's several different times that calculus is offered, but some of the more popular times may fill up. Um, if you get to a point where you look at your schedule and realize there's absolutely no way the classes that are available will fit together, that's when you can contact advising and they will help you figure that out. If they have any specific questions then for engineering, they will let us know. Um, but yes, they're very specific course requirements. However, I can let you know we have always gotten it figured out for everyone every fall. So, um, you know, it may not look exactly what you want. You may have one of those 8 or 9 a.m. classes um, that isn't ideal for you sometimes, but uh, it is possible and we will get everybody registered for what they need to be registered for. Okay, if uh, there are no further questions, then we can go ahead and wrap up. Um, but definitely, you know, contact us if there's anything else specific you need to know. Um, the recording will be posted on go.du.edu slash parents and go.du.edu slash new student. Oh, I do see some new questions popping up, so I will answer those as well. Uh, It says, oh, under autumn quarter 2019 on my web, I don't see the comp 3075. Yes, as I said, that is a new course. I will double check and make sure that that gets posted on there um, to make sure that everybody has that uh, in there. But yes, it is that one quarter credit um, and I will make sure that gets posted in there as well. Okay, well, if there's uh, no additional questions at this time, um, just make sure to reach out if anything else comes up. And as I said, this will all be posted for you as well as that website, the go.du.edu slash parents or go.du.edu slash new student. So we look forward to talking with you more and meeting everyone in the fall. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.